today we've been looking at um, art. When the children come and visit, they get the idea of colours and how colours work together. And they also get the idea of the difference between a 2D and a 3D form. It's been fab. So they come out with the most amazing ideas. It just brings their imagination alive. And it's so lovely to see. It broadens the curriculum. Uh, the children get to experience first-hand art. And it just makes it much more real. Everyone started by coming to the art centre to see a sculpture trail and a colour trail and then they've taken those as inspiration back into the works that they're doing now in schools with the artist. The artist brings a certain kudos that maybe as a teacher I don't have and they've got lots of skills that they bring to the, to the project which the, I think the children have really picked up on. They've been working in a variety of media, uh, making different sorts of objects. but they've managed to work as a team and make sure that everybody in their group has contributed to the idea in some way so that each child walks away from their sculpture knowing that they personally contributed to it. It's been really nice to see children that sometimes struggle with general learning really flourishing creatively. They've really had an opportunity to express themselves with their art. You can see the excitement in their, in their eyes. It doesn't have to be a verbal thing and you can see the enthusiasm just through the piece of art that they've produced and you can see they're bursting with pride. Yeah, the children have been really engaged, um, I've absolutely loved it. And they've really applied what they learned at Warwick University. The children's ideas have changed from where they originally started through the artistic process. Bringing uh, a lot of the interest that the children have had in those artworks um, and be as kind of democratic as possible as we can with that process. I think they are fantastic and then it's really good that they use different colours so they know the different emotions and that lot so it's just best in their cells through it so it's really good. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, I think the children should be really proud of themselves and I think to have people to come in that are, have different experiences to teachers and have different skills and different ways of sharing it with children is really important for children. It's really good, it gets them uh, thinking on their toes doesn't it? They come home and they want to draw, they want to create things. I think it's really inspired them both. We offer the visual art sessions as part of the whole Arts Active Network project. It's offering them loads of different skills that they can use and then um, a creative outcome that's then taken towards the festival that's in July. They've worked really hard yeah, and it just have. looks gorgeous. It's a fantastic atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, just All very, the very schools positive. have worked together really nicely. Had a lovely tour from a kid from Troubled Street who was amazing. All in all, really, really impressed. So it's actually really wonderful to come here and see all this wonderful arty stuff happening in Leamington that the kids have had some sort of involvement with. I've enjoyed like seeing my work and being able to find it. What we're hoping is um, that the schools that we've worked with this year are going to choose to continue to work in this kind of way, to both together um, and also alongside Warwick Arts Centre. I feel that I've been skilled in order to carry that on. We've forged really strong links now, the children, uh, the staff in particular, you know, we've got more contacts, we can work together, share ideas. Trying to encourage them to work together as a group and to create something for their own community.